talked about that here in the in the tarot spread and I think strength is finding that solid ground right now finding solid ground right now in the present moment and yes releasing the past because it's just as fluid as the future really um you know when we're in the present moment we we are this this reminds me of the analogy of like throwing a pebble into a pond okay now when we think about water and continuous flow it only becomes structured if it's being confined in some way by some sort of boundaries right but in its essence it is boundless it has no boundaries right now when we throw a pebble into a pond ripples expand beyond it and they gradually get larger and larger and larger and continue to expand and expand and expand and expand until you know the energy has either run out or they hit some sort of boundary so you are the pebble um in the sense that you create the the ripples around you so every thought every action and every feeling in the present moment expands beyond you through all space and time so if you are operating from a place of fear you are continuing to send those vibrations out into the past and future and also energetically into your environment around the people around you and this is what the strength card is all about the strength card is about finding peace and solace and strength and joy and and contentment with where you are right now with who you are right now and and working on sending out the the vibrations that will help you to heal yourself in the present moment also helping you to heal the past and also helping you to heal the future present moment focus is incredibly incredibly important because the water the emotions the energy that exists within and all around you in the present moment is so fluid and interchangeable at any given moment and it's only bounded if you allow it to be bounded if you create boundaries for yourself if you keep yourself in a cup or if you keep yourself boxed up or if you freeze yourself you think about water and all the ways in which it can it can act or if you heat it up and it evaporates you know but water just still in and of itself is both reflective and and energetically clear right it's when we start doing things to it that it starts changing its nature and that directly correlates to our energy and the way that we change it you know there's been many many studies shown <coughs> excuse me about how emotions and intentions affect the molecular structure of water it's also been shown how energetic vibration and even voice vibration can affect the growth of plants now if you think about plants you know they have their stems and their shoots and they're drawing up energy from the soil and so they are water in a sense and so if you're singing to your plants if you're talking to your plants you know lovingly and and with caring you know and so if you're in the strength and you're like you know you you look at it as i've been through hell and i should you know blah 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 i should be upset and you know those types of things you're feeding your own plant you're feeding your own self that that negativity and therefore you're breeding that in yourself but when we do that we can always catch ourselves and we can say cancel 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 and we can set a new intention in a new vibration that is of love and light and this is all self work and inner work nobody else can do this work for you other than yourself because you are the pebble and you are the water and you get to choose right now in the present moment how 
you are vibrating and how you are changing and how you are loving in the present moment. So find, find stable ground, find stable footing, get yourself grounded, get yourself to the present moment, allow yourself to release that which has brought you up to this moment and allow yourself to release that which is yet to come and just be, breathe and be and accept and acknowledge and have respect for and and have love for all the parts of your experience, all the parts of you and all the parts of all humanity and all of the environment all around you and watch how things shift for you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this. I certainly did. Uh, we will see you next time. Bye, guys.